My name's Elise. You know there are many different types of plants and animals in the world, and they live in many different kinds of environments. In this program, you're going to see how the plants and animals in an area interact with each other and the natural elements in that area. Taken all together, they form an ecosystem. An ecosystem is the community of plants and animals and the place where they live. All the living things in an ecosystem are called a community. In the Arizona desert, some examples of the members of the community are the saguaro cactus and other types of plant life. These plants need to be able to get by on very little water and withstand the extreme desert heat. Various types of reptiles, such as the rattlesnakes and lizards, have adapted well to the desert environment. On the other hand, a temperate rainforest is made up of trees, ferns, mosses, and fungi that need large amounts of water and cooler temperatures to survive. Among the animal life found here are trout and salmon that live in the rivers and streams. Amphibians like these salamanders could never survive in the dry hot desert. Neither could large animals such as the bears and deer that feed on fish and green plants. There are four basic requirements for life. They are nutrients, energy, water, and the proper temperature for the plants and animals living in the community. The geography of an area plays an important part in determining how much solar energy, nutrients, and water are available for living things to use. It also affects the average temperature of a biome. The amount of nutrients such as nitrogen, carbon, and phosphorus in an ecosystem are the result of the natural cycles that occur there. 